And the field looks like this for the women's four by 100 relay. Texas Tech, Auburn, LSU, Texas A&M, Houston, Clemson, Oregon, and Baylor. Mandy White opening leg for Oregon. Amber Purvis will take the handoff. Clean start in the women's 4 by 100 meter relay. Tarmo already moving on the University of Houston. She has already made up the stagger on Houston. Now the pass. Good yep. pass. And Portia Lucas takes the stick. And Lucas is flying. She'll hand it off to Dominique Duncan, the sophomore for Texas A&M. Oregon with a strong showing as well. Hand off from Purvis to Baker. Leading by about three steps right now, Texas A&M. Here is Jessica Beard. Jessica Beard, the anchor leg for Texas A&M. And it is all Aggies in the women's 4 by 100 meter relay. They've done it again. Texas A&M first, Oregon finishes second, Jamisha Youngblood strong on the back end. LSU though emerges and Jeff Dan O'Brien. All right, ladies, congratulations. Wonderful run, Janaba. You got them off to a fantastic start. Your strategy going in, safe passes or you're running to win? Um, actually, our strategy is safe passes. Um, right now, we, we actually really want to defend our title, but the main thing is safe passes and keep everybody healthy because we got a whole day to get through today. Jessica, huge implications opening this last day for the team titles. You guys could do it again. What would that be like? Um, I, I think it would just be a blessing to everybody. That's what we're looking forward to. A lot of people counted us out when um, some of our teammates got injured, but we all stepped up today, and they really stepped up on the relay, and, I mean, they did all the work, and I just brought it home. So I think it's going to be really big, especially because we're going to try to do it again. So it's going to mean so much to us if we do it. All right, I got some happy Aggies down here, guys. Congratulations, ladies. All right, Dad, thanks very much for Texas A&M coming through. The pressure was on them, and they got it done. And a look at the field. Texas A&M, lanes four and five, and lane eight. Dominique Duncan with a scoring chance as well for the Aggies. Her teammate, Jenna Batarno, in lane five, and Dominique Duncan in lane eight. We're underway. Clean start. Women's 200-meter final. Tarmo is moving already. She's going to come off to the turn in the lead. And it's Tarmo and Lucas going 1-2 right now. Final stretch. Jennifer Tarmo for Texas A&M. Portia Lucas passes her. And Lucas blazing down the track. She takes the title in the women's 200 meters. Tarmo finishes second. And Texas A&M claims major points. You know, downstairs to Dan. All right, Portia, how important was that one-two finish in this 200 meters going into the 200 meters? Oregon does have a slight lead on you in the team title. It was definitely very important. Um, we knew that we could come out one-two today, so I'm happy we did. Janova, you won the conference championship. Do you mind giving up the national title to, to Portia here for the team title? Yes. I, I, there's no better person I give to than Portia. She's a great 200 runner. She's... She's a tremendous stuff. I'm glad. <laughs> All right, congratulations. This is getting to be a regular thing here with these uh, Texas A&M Aggies guys. Back to you. Just moments ago, women's javelin, Texas A&M. Hillary Putska. The Aggies need two points to clinch the championship, and with that throw, Putska gets it done for Texas A&M. They've won the national crown again. Back-to-back -back years for the Aggies and Pat.